When you first start the Knitting Companion, you're going to be checking whether you want to work in inches or centimeters. I'm going to do inches because that's what I'm used to. And I'm going to be using this easy sweater here. Even though it's in garter stitch, we could do it plain knit, stockinette knit on the machine. So first of all, I have to go find the stitches in rows per inch, which we have 16 and 32. So I change that and that, click the refresh button. Now, on the bulky, I will get four stitches in six rows to one inch. Click the refresh button. Now I go back to the pattern and here it tells me to cast on 40 stitches. I will put the 40 stitches in here, click the refresh. I will still be knitting 40 stitches. Then it tells me to work the piece until 10 inches. So I will put 10 inches in there, click refresh. Now here it tells me to knit 60 rows. Then as I go on, uh, of course it says bind off all stitches. Then for the front, cast on 21, which as you see, the uh, four inches, four stitches per inch are the same here, but the rows are different. Now, if you were to have the standard gauge, you're going to get something like seven stitches and ten rows per inch. So now it's going to change a little bit. So 40 stitches, click refresh. Okay, so now I'm going to cast on 70 stitches on the standard gauge machine and 10 inches. Well, that's 100 rows because I already had that in there. So now I go on to the front, cast on 21 stitches. So I put in 21, click refresh. Now I need to cast on 37 stitches uh, on the standard gauge. And then I go on, um, work in garter stitch until, oh, uh, 10 inches, which is the same. Then the sleeve goes on to 32 stitches, refresh, so it would be 56 stitches. I would either copy and paste the pattern onto notepad or another text document, and then I will change what I need to do in the pattern and then print it out and bring it to my machine. So pretty much you just go through the pattern. Now see this one here is 5 inches. So I put five inches, refresh. If it tells you how many rows to knit, I could put in that supposedly 100 rows would be knitted on the normal, on the original pattern here. For the standard gauge, I would have to knit 125 rows. I mean, that's just a given. I'm just putting a number in there. So when you come across a pattern, whether it's hand knit or it's not for your gauge, Put in your original, the original pattern gauge here. Put in your machine swatch gauge here. And then you're going to convert the stitches, rows, or inches. Now when you click on the shape in menu here, it's going to come up like this. So now when you have an easy drop shoulder sleeve, in this case here, you need to well, this is one side, so you would click two sides. So A is the number of the longest N. Now I'm taking this one here, and it has 40 stitches. So I put 40 in there. And then in B is going to be at the cuff, and that's 28. And then the number of rows I look is 40. Now, of course, this is knitwear here, and it'll tell you what to do. But if you have a hand knit pattern and it tells you how many stitches to cast on, how many stitches are at the end, but your rows per inch are off, of course the other part's going to help you, but this will help you with that. So now I click the do it button and right here it'll tell me to increase or decrease one stitch on each side every five rows two times. Then increase or decrease one stitch on each side every six rows four times. And then knit five rows even. And you have your sleeve. 
Well, I hope you get to use this program. It is really a nice little program, and I've used this for many hand-knitting patterns to work on the machine.